What's up everybody? So today we are going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be wrenching. Uh, my Super Rock Ray is torn apart right here behind me as you've seen. The front differential, I had to tear that apart and uh, dig into some things and fix some things. And that's what we're going to be doing today is fixing that. But first, we're going to be painting my new Traxxas Slash body right here. Brand new body. And uh, how not to do it is use this uh, orange construction marking paint right here. And that's what I'm going to be using. Right here, I did my X-Max body with a green. It's chipped a little bit, but it's actually a pretty durable paint. I was really surprised it doesn't flake off that easy it can scrape off but it doesn't flake that easy so I'm just gonna use it for this body as you see what my body is these are what the bodies turn into right here is pretty much junk so I'm really not too concerned if it is a perfect paint job or not so I'm just gonna make it look cool because the slash goes through a hell of a beating and you guys seen that before so that's what we're gonna be doing so let's get outside let's get this thing painted up and then we're gonna put the rock ray back together so, shake this up. Oh yeah, it's gonna be pretty. Little test spray over here. Oh yeah, she's laying. She's laying evenly. There we go. Moved into the light a little bit. Kind of nervous. Kind of nervous. One more test spray here. Do a thin coat at first. Get her sticky. Let that dry a minute. All right, just gonna go ahead and get a uh, second final coat on there, I guess. Oh yeah, that's orange. That is orange for sure. No doubt about it. Oh yeah, they're gonna see us coming. Giggity. Let's go ahead and flip her over, see what she looks like. Wow, that's pretty cool, guys. Definitely digging that. Definitely digging that. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. So we'll let the body dry for a little bit. We'll uh, go down there and knock off the Super Rock Ray and uh, fix that up, get that back in working order and uh, put that body on, put some stickers on. All right guys, so back down here at the workbench, here's the Rock Ray, here's the front bumper, here's the roof. I mean, this thing you have to take a lot apart to get that front differential out. The side gear right here. Now the little pin, the set pin that sets down in there, that little pin broke. So what I'm gonna do is take some of this Allen key that I have right here and I'm going to basically cut that off because this is good steel. If you have a good Allen key or an Allen wrench, that's a good steel, good memory in it. There's spring to it. And I believe in a little bit of spring to steel is stronger because when you make a steel or a pin, these pins are super brittle, like the pins in the X-Max that run through the A-arms. If that pin would have some memory in it and some bend to it, you would never bend those or break those pins or these kind of pins ever again if they had a little bit of memory. So that's actually what I use to run the pins in the front UDR axle shafts is uh, Allen keys. All right, so I'm just setting my Allen wrench down in here to figure out how long this piece needs to be. It's right around a centimeter long, guys. Ta-da! Okay, she's still a little long. Got to grind a little down. Grind it down, grind it down. You see that Allen piece right down in there? Fit right down in there. Perfect. So now I'm going to start putting this side gear back in there. Okay guys, so that was really pissing me off. I actually took it apart about three or four times off camera. It was running a little tight so I just flipped flipped one washer around and it had a couple of little divots in it and I hammered that out on the ground and smoothed that washer out and uh, now it seems to be working a lot better so I'm gonna get as much as I can put together on this and then I'm gonna go out and check the body I do have other things to do today so I'm gonna get this back in the case at least and maybe back in the chassis and then we're gonna put the body up on the slash See how dry we are on this thing. 
Yeah, it's good enough. Take it downstairs. Oh yeah, let's go get some stickers on it. All right, guys, I got the uh, differential back into the chassis at least. I uh, got that done. I just have so many other things to do today. Just really busy today, but I am going to get the stickers on this. Also, I started wakeboarding, <laughs> so I went out and bought a wakeboard. Uh, it's something I've been doing lately, so if you guys would want to see something besides RC cars of my life, let me know in the comments below. So let's sticker this thing up, guys, and let's get this done. There she is, boys. 69 rides again. Dave's gonna be so pumped to beat the hell out of this thing. I think it looks sweet. I know it has red bead locks, but that's okay. You know, and I know it's not the proper paint job, guys, but you know what? If it scratches up, just touch it up, spray bomb it again. It does not matter because it ends up like this. Also, if you want to see me wakeboard or do something else besides RC cars, just kind of live my normal life, just let me know in the comments. I've really been you know, getting used to the RC stuff. Uh, it's just not what I got on YouTube to do. So adapting to it has been, you know, it's quite the challenge, but I appreciate all you guys sticking with me through it and showing all the great love and support. Uh, like I said, if you want to see some kind of vlog series of where I go wakeboarding or three wheeling or bicycling or whatever, whatever, you know, something besides RC, just let me know in the comments. I appreciate all you guys. So we will see you in the next video. More to come. I love you guys. Peace.